Hello, I'm Jacob, and you are watching the Prepper's Bunker Outdoors. Um, you know, I've been saving these LA Police Gear pants for like almost a year now because I wanted to do a video on them before I threw them in the trash. And um, we've kind of been cleaning up the house, getting rid of stuff. And I had all of these ideas for how I want to do this video and make it fancy and stuff like that. And we're just not going to do any of that because I'm throwing these pants in the trash tonight. So, uh, they have a lot of issues. A uh, little bit of background. I do conceal carry every day. They are supposed to be police gear, tactical pants. They've got extra pockets for magazines and stuff like that. So they should be designed... Uh, to be used while carrying a firearm. I think that's fairly common sense. Um, also, I, I'm a little bit hard on pants, not because of what I do, but because I've kind of got thick thighs for the size of my waist, which means that uh, there can be a lot of pulling and stretching on the crotch and stuff like that when I move because my thighs catch and pull on the jeans and whatever. So this is like the first, this is my third pair of LA Police gear pants, by the way. And actually, the other reason that I got motivated to do this is some LA Police gear advertisement popped up. And everybody was like talking about like how great they are. And they're not. Uh, if you're not familiar with this channel, I'm just a dude who does YouTube videos. I'm not part of a marketing team. Like all of these YouTube channels that you watch with like 150, 200,000 subscribers, tons of views, this, that, and the other, are part of marketing businesses. Um, and they get sent gear and they're expected, from companies that pay for reviews, they're expected to put out. And they make money through this marketing company through YouTube and the marketing company makes money through the companies through the that are giving them the gear. Okay, so LA Police gear. These pants, through normal use, lasted me less than two months, which is about the same as the last two pair. And you'll be able to see here, um, this is where my phone was. Uh, I don't usually carry anything in that pocket, so I don't know what happened there. This is where my keys go. And uh, you can only see a little bit from the wallet. Uh, this is the crotch. And uh, these pants should look like new. They absolutely should. Um, so they were relatively comfortable, but they did have a little of the crotch behind that I was mentioning earlier. So, you know, they like I said, they lasted a couple days, a couple high knees. I mean... If you look here, I should be able to do this, to bring my doggone legs up without losing my doggone pants. Uh, but alas, that's not the case. The other two pairs that I have had were not jeans. This was my first time trying to buy and wear jeans in like nine years. Um, the other two pair were more tactical models, khaki ones. One was like super stretchy and they just disintegrated around me. And the other pair was just normal tactical, I guess, also just ripped into pieces. So, <clears throat> but comfort was actually okay in these while they lasted, uh, except for one thing. This is supposed to be LA police gear, all right? So, again, I'm assuming we're carrying knives, flashlights, a tourniquet, a gun, and a mag, at the minimum, and a wallet, and a phone, right? So tell me why we have a button, like these are from some 1980s pair of hip hop pants or some bullcrap like this. Um, you pull on this at all and the button's gonna pull to the side. And if you have pressure on it through the belt, it's just gonna dig into you. And the back of it will just push out. This is the most stupid, stupid, poorly, designed, poorly manufactured crap. It's like some guy was a police officer and went to China and he was like, hey, put cargo pockets on that and uh, those look pretty good. I want 400,000 of those and put my label on it. And they were like, okay, we'll make it. Just utter junk. Now, 
what pants, you know, how do I, how do I measure the quality or crappiness of a product? Well, I measure it to other products. So if every pair of pants I ever wore only lasted me two months, then I wouldn't think these were all that bad, right? But um, a, a little over a year before I got those, I actually was kind of issued a pair of these 5.11s from, uh, from a job that I was working. They went through a hard summer's work in Kentucky doing manual labor outside and then an entire winter. And then when these pants gave up, I just went, I was wearing these before I got those pants, but I was supposed, you know, they wanted me to wear jeans at this new job, killed those, and then I just went back to these. And I've been running these for well over two years, no rips, no damage. I wear them every, I, okay, I wore them every single day constantly until I got the pants that I'm wearing right now, which you guessed it, are 511. So what specifically irritated me is, you know, in the comment section on this whole thing, somebody was like, I've wore my LAPG pants for two years with no problems and I had 5.11s and they just fell apart. And I'm like, at this point, I'm like, I got six or seven of these. I've been wearing them for years and I know it's just such utter marketing crap. Now, if you don't carry a gun and you work in like an office or something and you got little chicken legs, they'll probably work for you. I mean, you just want to look tactical, I guess, and have pockets. Cool. But like, I do this channel for people who want to prepare for an emergency and who want products that are going to last through bad situations. Nothing that I've tested from LAPG has met that criteria. And I really wanted them to, because, you know, I got, I get these, I've looked for them to be on sale. I pay 50 bucks. If you don't, they're about 70 bucks. That sucks. It hurts. I know it hurts, you know, but I'd rather, I'm still getting more money out of them. I'm still getting more of my money's worth. They're better laid out, better designed, more comfortable, and the durability is not even comparable. And then your, your button here has a normal clothes button, almost like a pair of dress pants, and then a snap button here. And I only ever use the snap button. Um, the pair that I'm wearing right now actually has a button like that crappy pair, but it's just a completely flat button with a ribbon around it. So you don't have anything sticking out to press into your gut while you're carrying a gun um, with a tight belt. So, you know, the video is not fancy, but like if you want to hear someone who actually uses their gear talk about something boring like pants, there you go. Uh, I don't get any money. From any manufacturers and uh man i gave them three chances and i feel stupid for it like everybody talks about how good they are and they just freaking suck so let me know think in the comments section below i hope that you have a blessed day and uh check out the description box below to see how you can support this channel i've got a patreon um, all of my Instagrams will be down there and I run my own businesses. So beachandtactical.com, uh, primarily customizable made to order rifle slings and Exodus knife and tool, uh, where I sell my knives, uh, that I designed that are manufactured in Michigan by white river knife and tool, premium knives, made of premium steels in America. So that's what I got. Thank you for watching.